In Glasgow, Scotland, President Joe Biden warns that now is the time to act against what he calls a threat to human existence, climate change. But leaders from major polluters like China and Russia were not even at the global climate summit. And some worry the president's policies amount to a cash giveaway that will cripple the country. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. Owen. Tracy, good evening to you. Tonight, the Biden administration wants the United States to be an entirely clean energy nation by the year 2050, just a few decades from now. But critics point to the staggering costs and often elusive commitments from other countries. In Scotland, President Joe Biden begins his climate speech asking, Will we act? Will we do what is necessary? Will we seize the enormous opportunity before us? Or will we, or will we condemn future generations to suffer? The U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops says it supports the president's push to protect the planet, writing, the climate crisis is complex and demands the discernment and cooperation of the entire human family. We appreciate the Biden administration's recent commitments in anticipation of COP26 to reduce carbon dioxide and methane emissions. But conservatives at the America First Policy Institute say it's fair to question the sincerity of the Biden administration's involvement with a summit where two of the world's biggest pollution culprits are conspicuously absent, adding, if enacted, these policies will cripple the U.S. economy. Also today, the White House COVID-19 response team said the U.S. will be ready to start vaccinating children between 5 and 11 years old starting next Monday, November 8th. And Press Secretary Jen Psaki announced she caught COVID as the world passes the grim milestone of 5 million deaths from the disease. Also over the weekend, President Biden reflected on his recent meeting with Pope Francis. I just find my relationship with him one that I personally take great solace in. He is a really, truly genuine, decent man. Now, the U.N. Climate Change Conference, also known as COP26, continues tomorrow. In addition to keeping global temperatures from rising, another goal, rich nations giving poor nations $100 billion a year in climate aid. And President Biden returns to Washington on Wednesday. At the White House, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.